purse here and I realized I needed to clean out my purse and I figured I would take you guys along. So I dumped out everything that was in my purse right here and I want to just purge. I've got so many lip things and just so much crap in there that I feel like I'm not using that it's just taking up space in my purse for really no reason. And then I also feel like there are a few things that I keep wishing I had in my purse that I want to put in my purse. So first we'll start with getting rid of things I don't need. So, bringing it in a little closer, some of the things, like my wallet, I pulled out things that were just sticking out. So I wanna, like, these are receipts I don't need. These are old or things I'm never, a baseball ticket, this is expired. Just tons of things I literally don't need. So, gonna throw these away, that's a nice chunk. So now, when I pulled them out, everything else is just like my normal things. So, oh, that's a good feeling. But I have a feeling I'm gonna find change that I need to put back here, either that or, I usually just put these in my piggy bank, so maybe I will, but really feels good because literally it was like this. That's what it was like. Seriously, Jessica, get it together. So, bye bye. Woohoo! So, I also just found coupons that were expired that were like tucked in there. Um, like, I did keep some receipts after going through them. I did keep some receipts that are things that I am returning that are sitting in my car, so I need those. And then I found some coupons that were tucked in the other side that. I don't need because they're expired. So that is, again, a good feeling. And now my wallet's a little bit um, thinner than it was before. All right. My keys I need. And by the way, just for fun, Minnie Mouse bought in Disney World one trip. Bought a pink Mickey head. Another Disney World trip. I buy them each time I go. And then <laughs> now I'm going to have, like, way too many. But I've got, like, my um, P.O. Box key and then my gym card and all kinds of other cards. And then I've got my headphones on here. But I also have headphones here that I just recently got as well. And then I have my really good ones that I showed in that um, recent video, the Mies ones, in my gym bag. So how many headphones do I need? Like for real, I do not need three pairs of headphones. So I need to decide kind of what I wanna do with this. I think what I'm gonna do is keep these like at home near my bed and keep these on my keys. And then the other ones are already in my gym bag because I use those at the gym. So that will, so this will not be in my purse anymore. Bye bye. So I know I need my keys in my wallet. I'm gonna set these over here to the side. <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh. Sunglasses, sunglasses, sunglasses. Why do I have three pairs of sunglasses in my purse? Oh my gosh. The, oh, but these were from a scratch box that I reviewed and I actually like them because they're just so fun. But I might like keep these in my car these are Kate Spade ones I recently got when I got this um, for really cheap on um, Hot Look. I mean, not super cheap, but um, cheaper than they would normally be. And they're really, really cute. Um, and this is the Kate Spade bag, but I don't really like the bag. I mean, it's fun, but it's just not really my style, I guess. So what I might do is put the Kate Spade ones in here and keep those in my bag. And then put these... I don't really know, maybe I'll put these in my car. Why do I have so many sunglasses? Either way, these are not gonna be in my purse. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out and just keep the Kate Spade ones in my really protective case that I like. Keep, go, okay. Pepper spray, gonna keep. My dad bought me and he asked me if I have it with me all the time. So, and I like having it. It's funny, when I lived in Chicago, I had pepper spray like in my hand at all times. Like, <laughs> it was not even a joke, but here it's a little safer, but maybe it's not, I don't know. It's good to have. All right, pens. I've got three pens, a Mickey Mouse one, and then some other ones. This is one that I use with my planner here, but I might put with all my other like pens that I use for my planner. I think I'm just gonna keep my Mickey Mouse one because my mom gave it to me and I love it. And so how many pens, I don't need more than one really. And I'm not even in school anymore, so yeah. So I'm gonna keep the one, put the rest elsewhere. I have my nail fire, fire, my nail fire. I have my nail file that I got from Sephora, the glass one that I love. And these are great because you can rinse them with water and they're back to normal. So these are just fantastic. And supposedly it helps with um, your nails so they don't peel as much, which actually I have noticed that my nails are not peeling as much as they used to. So definitely keeping this in my purse. I have gum. I actually only have one pack of gum in here. It's almost out, but I'm gonna use it till it's gone. But I always have tons of, uh, backup packs of gum in my room so when that's out I'll put a new one in but these are all keeps so far okay uh, where to go next these are tampons 
I got this for like two or three dollars at Walmart. Some one of my subscribers was saying they use their Ipsy bags to hold um, feminine products as well. I thought, duh, that's genius. But I already have this, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And it is that time of the month, so I do need these with me. But uh, if it's not, I usually don't have them in there. I might keep one somewhere, just, you know, emergency. But I also keep emergency ones, like, in my gym bag, which is always in my car. So that's another thing. I don't really have to. But right now, I need this. So definitely staying in there. Okay. Here's change I can go ahead and put in my wallet. Yahoo. It's always nice to have at least a little bit of change. So there's that. All right. Um... So I'm lactose intolerant, so I have like um, dairy relief things. These are allergy medicines, but I think my allergy season has finally passed. So these and these I think can go. Yay, I'll just hold on to them until next allergy season if they'll still be good. So I don't need these in there. I do need my lactase, but I need to find a little a thing to hold these in. So I'm going to put them to the side, but I want to find a place for them. Allergy eye drops. My eyes are still itchy, even though the rest of my allergies aren't as bad. So I'm going to keep these for right now with me. So look at all these lip products. Are you guys kidding me? Look at this. <gasps> what? Way too many. What? This is insane. So, Jessica, stop letting this happen. I can't be the... I know some girls are watching this right now and you guys are laughing because you know that if you looked in your purse right now, you'd find like 10 lip products. So I think a lot of us are guilty of this, that you grab one to go with your outfit or just because you want to use it that day and you just leave it in your purse. This is what happens. So... This I just got in a, um, what was it, the Ipsy bag, right, ladies? Yes. So I want to use this, but I also love my little mini buxom, so I want to keep that in there, too. But how many do I really need in there? Right now, this is a lipstick that I got um, for free from Ipsy Points. It's a full-size Bare Minerals, but I don't wear it that often, so I think I'm going to keep it in my lipstick collection for when I want to actually wear it. So I'm going to take that one out. This, I was getting a cold sore recently, and this really helps me um, kind of like as preventative care when it's starting to pop up again. Um, but right now, I think I'm okay. Knock on wood. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out for now. Um, this is another. This is the NYX Sugar Pie. I end up grabbing this almost every single day. I love this so much. But these are almost identical, and I'm really trying to try out the Butter Gloss because I haven't used it. So I'm thinking I will leave the Butter Gloss in the Buxom and take this out for right now. The, okay, lip, oh, that's a lip balm, too. This one's getting kind of dirty, isn't it? How much is left? Let me use some real fast. Oh, it is the best. Oh, my gosh. If you haven't tried the EOS Sweet Mint, oh, my gosh, it's stupid good. Oh, and on my Instagram, I recently, um, like, posted a face of the day post, like, the products I was wearing, and I asked what you guys were wearing on your lips, and a lot of people said the EOS Sweet Mint. I'm like, yes, it is so freaking good and it's I don't like any of the other EOS ones this is the only one I've found that actually moisturizes for me so I love it if you haven't tried it, it's awesome but I also have another minty one the Nivea that I'm wanting to try out because I really haven't used it much but I'm thinking I might keep this in my bag right now and try and use no maybe I'll keep this at my bedside clearly I'm indecisive I think I'll keep this at my bedside and keep this in here the color which one's this one color whisper and strike a rose one of my favorites but I haven't been wearing it lately, so I think I'm going to take it out for now. This, a sweet subscriber sent me, and I actually love this. She, her, um, what am I saying? Her shop on Etsy is Balmable. The Sweet Orange, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. It's kind of, it's made from a lot of natural ingredients, but I found that it, it, it moisturized my lips. It didn't actually make them chapped, because I feel like some chapsticks really do. Do you guys feel that way? But this one had really moisturizing ingredients. I love the Sweet Orange smell the best. She sent me another one. I don't remember what the smell was, but the orange one's my favorite. And they're really inexpensive. So if you're looking for kind of a homemade, fun little lip balm for the summer, I recommend it. I actually really like it. So, okay. But I'm going to hold on to that in my lip balm area so when I'm getting ready in the morning, I can use that one. Okay, so this will be my purse lip balm. I'll have two options for lip glosses. Mm, love those. All right, I feel better already. It's not too bad. I should probably only have one gloss, but guys, I just can't decide. <laughs> These... I just like these. These are actually like the dollar store brand of those breath strips, but they're just nice to have on hand. They work a little, they're a little stronger than like mints, so I just like having them. So I'm going to keep those. Tissues, I should probably just have. But do I ever use them? Yeah, I really do. Keep. Contact, uh, little case. Keep. Yes. Um, this is to charge my phone, and I like having it, but I need to have my actual like 
wall charger with me as well. That way, like sometimes I'll babysit and I need it. Or, you know, there's always something that pops up and I need the actual thing for it. So I need to go grab one of my things for it. Hold on. Dang it. <laughs> okay, perfect. So now we've got that. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in there so I don't lose it in my bag. That's together, I feel better already. Um, so this I've had since Christmas. It's my favorite scent. And actually I've noticed this, the actual hand cream, a subscriber who actually came and saw me in a show <laughs> in December gave me this with a bunch of other goodies and it was just so cool. She's the only subscriber I've like met in person. Isn't that crazy? Other than people I already knew. So that is pretty awesome. Anyway, um, she gave me this and it's one of my favorites and I use it all the time but I still have some left. I can't believe it. I'm like scared to use it up because it's limited edition. So, um... And I need to get the candles of these too. Anyway, that is besides the point. The actual like huge triple moisture body cream, which I also still have. I've noticed that one has a scent that's not as good as the hand cream. This one's a much sweeter scent. The other one, the initial scent is the same, but like once it's on your skin, it kind of has an odd not bad, but it's different. So I love the hand cream. Oh my gosh. I will definitely be repurchasing it when it comes back out this December. Oh, it's so good. Okay. This, a subscriber and friend, Allie, sent me, and I love the smell. It's French lavender and honey, and it smells amazing. I love throwing this self on my, this self. I love throwing this on midday, you know, like after I've um, finished running errands or whatever I'm doing. It's just such a nice, fresh scent, but it's still sweet. It's perfect. So that I'm definitely going to keep in there as well. Now I have another scent in here. This is the Jasmine. It's the brand Demeter, the roll-on perfume oil. I use this a lot in the spring, but now that it's summer, I, I just haven't been grabbing because I've been using this. So I think I might hold on to this and use it when maybe next spring rolls around. Hand sanitizer is almost gone. I might just leave this on my vanity and get a fresh one for my purse and just try and use this up as my hand sanitizer on my vanity. So let me go, go snag a new one. I picked the fresh picked blackberries for my next one. So <laughs> do I feel like it's just such a summery scent. So this is ibuprofen. It's the Target brand and I use it. So I, I like having that on me. So now that leaves me with my old school iPhone 4S, which by the way, I've been filming videos for what, like a, a little over a year now. The whole first like eight months of filming, I used my phone, my iPhone 4S. I bought like a really cheap $2 um, stand and that's how I did it. And if you guys would be interested, I was thinking about it, if you'd be interested in me making a video just on like how I started my YouTube channel and maybe like tips for people that are wanting to or people that maybe already have, just kind of how I got the ball rolling, I would love to do that. Um, I'm certainly not a pro and I certainly have room to grow and <laughs> um, and a lot of things to learn, but I, I am proud of the way I started it. And um, so yeah, if you'd be interested in that, let me know. Now I've got an empty makeup bag. What? Like, why is it empty? What did I have in here? I literally don't even remember. But this was Ipsy, the Ipsy bag last month. Oh, no, I have another scent. This is that one I just got in the um, Ipsy bag as well that I really, really like. <sighs> Maybe I'll put this in my gym bag and this in my purse. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I love this, but I end up using it after the gym anyway, so maybe I'll just put it in my gym bag instead. Also, if you'd like to see a gym bag organization video, let me know. Okay, so that leaves me with this empty bag, which I have no purpose for, but maybe I'll use it for some of these other things. And then I've got my planner, duh, that I freaking love, and then my iPad. Now, I don't always have my, actually, I don't have my iPad with me most of the time, but it just happened to be in my purse. Uh, but I do usually have my planner. So now, at least I have less stuff. I'm going to go through and see if I want to organize this into other bags instead of having a bunch of loose stuff. And we'll just see what I, I do. I threw my makeup and thought, okay, what are products that, because I you really don't carry makeup around with me, just like lip stuff. But sometimes I used to carry makeup with me all the time. But in recent months, I just hadn't been. But I realized there are some things I wish I had to touch up sometimes. So I went through and I was like, okay, I want to use my new bag from Ipsy, the Rebecca Minkoff for Ipsy bag that I love. So that's what I'm going to use. But I went through and I grabbed a brush. This is the Real Techniques Dual Fiber brush that's just real small and really cute. And I figure I can use that. This is my Eve Pearl Classic Trio. And it's got all three of these colors. And I thought that's perfect because I've got... 
anything I could want to sculpt out my face or highlight my face or just freshen up the blush. I think that's perfect. Now I'm not using it as much as I wish um, in my regular collection, so this would be a great way to do that. And it has a nice mirror. And I can just use this brush and kind of clean it off if I need to use different, but I don't want to bring a ton of brushes. So this is the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. It comes with like a little sponge I can use if I have to. Um, I don't find myself needing it all the time, but every once in a while I do. And so this will be perfect because again, I'm not using this as much as I wish I would in my collection. So those are going in. I also grabbed a just a liquid liner because they're easier. This is just a Rimmel Scandalized Precision one. I've only used it a couple times and <laughs> nice swatch Jess. It's not great. It's not the blackest it could be but it's not terrible and I figured this is a great way to to use this up. Liquid is just the easiest way to touch up for me if I'm trying to blacken the line or wing it out or you know like for evening time or something. So perfect. This is a mascara I recently opened just the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes small one. It's not my favorite but it's okay, so I figured that'll be a perfect way to, um, again, use it up when I'm wanting to touch up my lashes or amp them up. I'm always wanting hairspray. This is a Sebastian uh, Shaper Zero Gravity. It's about half gone because I use it when I travel, but I'm going to throw it in my bag as well. Then the MAC Fix Plus. Again, I'm not using as much of my collection, but I love it. I just don't ever grab for it when I'm first getting ready. So I figured this would be great to kind of freshen up my face if I feel like it just needs something more. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that with me. And then also just some hair ties I wrapped around a few bobby pins just because I don't even have that. How do I not have that in my bag? I don't know. So I fit all of that in there. I'll just have the hairspray separate. Now, I also have all these lip products. I guess I could put the lip ones in there, but I grabbed this little bag that I got at Old Navy. It's like three or four dollars, I think, but it's just cute. It reminds me of the Longchamp type of bags, that feel. Um, but they, they're perfect for little lip products, aren't they? So, which is why I was thinking I might keep those in there because I reach for lip products more than I reach e for anything. And I didn't want these to get lost in the bottom of this bag. So I think I am gonna do that. But that still leaves me with like my medicine and eye drops and my like these things maybe I'll get another bag are you kidding I'm gonna have like 10 bags by the end of this I think I'm gonna put my perfume in with the lip products because that's another thing that I reach for more than anything so there's that I also have my lactase I need to put somewhere so why not use that sunglass bag that was from what was it Kate Spade or whatever um for other stuff because this stuff is all kind of narrow and I figure it'll probably fit fine so let's see that goes in that goes in there probably that can go in and maybe even these eye drops let's see if they'll fit yeah they fit and it still closes so that's perfect and then I can just get in there grab what I need and put it back in I love vertical storage like that I know it's hard to see in there it's kind of dark but that actually is perfect and then I'll just have maybe I'll kind of stick the lactase in there uh, do I think that's gonna work actually it totally does work that is exactly what I'm gonna do perfect okay so now I've got everything that I want and I don't think I need to put anything in like a separate bag so let's go ahead and stuff these into my bag shall we so this bag I got at I think Burlington Coat Factory the brand is I have no idea it literally doesn't say anywhere so it's not like a crazy well-known design or anything like that but is it not adorable I love it so it's got this back pocket this is where I like to keep my phone so I'm gonna go ahead and put my phone there I don't like to keep a since you can tell that I have Nike phone <laughs> I used to use cases and I had a million and I realized I was like you know what I feel like I'm never getting it to appreciate the slimness of the phone and while my phone is no longer perfect every time I've ever had a case on it I've used Otterbox I've used like the thick um not Casemate, but the other brand, Spec cases. I've dropped it and my phone has cracked with those cases on it. So I'm like, whatever. They don't, the OtterBox, it cracked. The, um, my screen cracked with the Spec case. And so I'm like, why even have a case? It's making it so bulky. And frankly, I was just getting tired of them. I was like, I am just going to appreciate my phone for the way it is. It's pretty darn durable. Now, of course, yes, I'm more likely to crack my screen, but I just kind of like having it naked. <laughs> I might be the only person in the universe, but hey. Anyway, so I'm just going to keep my phone in there and that's it. I don't think I want anything else in there, just leaving it alone. I like to use this um, part right here just for my keys. Because my keys are so stupid thick and heavy and I've got a lot of junk on them, I just like to have them alone. Plus, I know I can reach in there and always find my keys. So that is one thing that I've kind of learned over the years with my bags, that it drives me nuts to not be able to find my keys. So the rest of the bag, 
It has this middle compartment with the zipper and then two parts on the other each side and then these areas here. So I figure I'll use these areas for things that are kind of loose that I might reach for a lot. For example, the medicine, the ibuprofen, I might stick in here. And I also might stick in here like the gum and this stuff because I reach for that all the time. What else? Maybe the pepper spray because I want it to be like readily available. Let me make sure it's locked. That always makes me, yeah, it's locked. Makes me nervous. Um, okay, so those are things I can reach for. Pepper spray I want to be able to grab quickly if I need. So th that's good. Now, what about this middle compartment? I'm kind of thinking, what all do I have here? I need to like move these. This, my phone charger that is, I think I'll put in the middle compartment because it, it, if it's out and about, it's like takes up a ton of room. But if it's kind of in this zippered area, I think it'll be more controlled. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick that in there. I think I'm gonna put my tissues in there as well. What else? Maybe, you know what, I'm gonna put my pen and nail file in with the gum because they're all kind of sticking out and again, I can reach for those easily there. I'm gonna put my contacts case in here as well because again, I don't reach for it all the time. And I think I'll even put the little tampon case in there as well. Just to get all of those little things kind of tucked away and I can zip them but I know where to find them and they're not getting lost in the bottom of my bag. So that leaves me with my bags basically, all my different bags, my sunglasses and then my planner and iPad which really is usually just planner. So I've got the two different sides. I think I'll put the two kind of hefty things in, actually I might put them in this side because I hold this end against my um, body and I don't want these flat things right against my body. I'd rather have like pushy things. <laughs> that made no sense. So now I'm just gonna kind of do vertical storage on this. So I'll have my makeup, my other thing. <laughs> this is getting pretty hefty here. I'm gonna have my sunglasses there, my wallet here, and then my lip things, I guess I'll just kind of tuck in there as well. I feel so much better and now everything's got kind of a home so when I take it out I've got to put it right in the same spot. I love using this this way so I can just easily grab the hand sanitizer and then stick it back, easily grab the hairspray, whatever. I know I can just pull this out if I need to redo any of my makeup and then this is just my little lip heaven and if I get too many lip products in here and I can't fit them back in here, I know I need to clean out my lip stuff from my purse. So that'll be helpful for me to kind of gauge and make sure that I don't have too many lip products in my purse. So I also like to wipe down my purse from time to time with like a Lysol wipe to kind of kill germs, just clean it. Because if you think about where like your purse and especially the bottom of your purse has been, it's pretty gross. I mean, ugh. and I try to be very conscious of that, you know, never setting it down on a bathroom floor or anything like that or in public on the floor. But um, sometimes, you know, you're in a predicament where you pretty much have to. Um, so I like to just clean it from time to time. Um, and actually I've recent, I actually recently wiped it down. I wipe it down actually a lot because it really grosses me out. Um, but regardless, that's just one more helpful hint. Just keep, prolong the life of your bag and also keep it clean. Oh, let me make sure I can zip it up. Oh yeah. All done. So this is the pile of things that I took out of my purse that were just taking up a ton of space. I mean, that's a lot of stuff. That's a significant amount of stuff that was just sitting in there. You know, all those receipts are trash. These are gonna go back into my collection. This is just gonna go elsewhere. Sunglasses will go elsewhere. And these will probably go in my gym bag. So, you know, it's just really helpful to see how much, I mean, that's a lot of space that I was lugging around, a lot of weight for really no reason. So I just feel so much better. I am very happy with the way this is. I have a lot in my purse, but I don't know, I like having what I need with me. I, and you know, it could be worse. I could have a lot more in here, but I'm happy with what I have in here. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and I'll catch you guys very soon, bye.